Dear friends, I'm Engineer Sepulla and you are watching Seven Engineer at Side YouTube channel. So dear friends, as per your request today, I'm going to share with you how to prepare a math statement. What is math statement? From you will take the help to prepare a math statement. So first I will give you a briefly definition about the method statement. What is method statement? It's a document which briefly gives detail about how to execute a work with safety requirements and quality requirements. Method statement is a document that exactly how to carry work with the safety standards for ensuring building site safety. Uh, environment safety and safety of all the people who are working there and this documents we have to briefly uh, give the details about the safety of all the people and the purpose of method statement is to safety precaution in the high risk environment to control risk identified in the risk assessment the details the personal protective equipment health and safety contact and the control equipment required to workers and the site visitors safe while tasks are ignored. So guys, this was the uh, brief definition of the method statement. After this, I will take to my laptop screen and I will show you how to prepare a method statement, what is present in the method statement body and from where you will take the help and the details to prepare a method statement. So let's move to our laptop screen. Assalamualaikum dear friends so here you can see on the screen method statement for reinforcement cement concrete work so in this method I, I prepared this method statement for RCC work so let's start this is the first page here you have to write the method document number revision date issue date method statement for reinforcement cement concrete work client name contractor name project name and contract PO now here you have to write your name, construction manager name, project manager name, there will become uh, consultant team names. Here you uh, this will be like, here you have to put the name and here you have to put your signature and uh, construction manager signature like that. Revision history. So my this uh, method statement was approved in the revision 02 and this is the revision history code. See me uh, comply with comments. Revision zero or else with compliance with comments. This is was under review. It means now it's approved with this one. In this documents, we have to submit ITP risk assessment and method statement all in the one document in our part or project. But maybe for other projects, maybe it will be submitted ITP submitted separately, risk assessment, method statement submitted separately. So here you can put your uh, project site fixture. Now it's a table content activities, purpose, communication, control measure, project access and egress, construction methodology, key material form work, reinforced steel work, embedded item joints, preparation for concreting, concrete replacement, uh, curing, cleaning and handwork housekeeping. So activities you here you have to write briefly a discuss about your activity to have the uh, is detail about your activity for further this method statement you have to write here how you will do the communication and what will be the control measure and you have here you have to uh, give a small note about the project access and egress now this is the important part construction methodology and the construction methodology you have to give detail about the material which will be used in the activity like and this is for RCC work so here you have to write about the concrete and uh, steel work and form work material everything you have you have to mention it form work the, the, the starting activity is to the form work you have to write briefly how you will uh, uh, install the form work what type of material will be used and the reinforcing steel work here you have to give, briefly give the notes and details about the steel work embedded item what will be the embedded item joints like if there's any expansion joints control joints whatever you have you have to mention here preparation for concreting when you complete the steel work everything you have how you will do the preparation for concrete how you will place the concrete after placing the concrete how you will cover the concrete what will, will be the procedure where to complete all the activity you have to mention cleaning and handwork housekeeping this like uh, also about the activity this here the project organization the project the construction methodology is different for all the uh, uh, for all activities it's different for activities but 
فراجيك اكسس ان اجريس اند كوميونيكيشن كنترول ماجر بروجيك اورجنايزيشن لايتنج بلانت اند اكويبمنت اول ذيس ديتيلز ار لايك ميكس ذيم ات 7 تو 80% سيم فور اول ذا اكتيفيتيز اند ميبي ان سم تايمز يو هاف تو تشيز سم لايك ميك سم تشينجز ان ذا اكويبمنت سو ناو ليتس ستارت ذا لايك pre task briefing tool box talk hazards material substance kaise regulations storage and handling hsc risk and control measure and this and the last you have to attach the risk assessment abbreviation tdc this is company abbreviation coach control of substance hazards to health pp personal protective equipment qq see quality control and quality assurance qhsc quality health safety and environment tbt tool box talk rock riyadh airport company jsa job safety analysis whatever the abbreviation you use in the the method statement you have to mention it here scope the important part is what is the scope of your method statement here you have to briefly discuss the scope the method statement describe the activities and process of reinforcement cement concrete work per metro link terminal 1 terminal 2 projects in this area you have to discuss the scope of the work that which type of activity you will do so in the first uh, the first thing you have to discuss the scope like this the method statement is called activity is process of reinforcement cement work for the metro link terminal 1 terminal 2 work include rcc work as per the project requirement and the remaining whatever you have in the your uh, project here you have to mention it which type of activities you will for- perform all the activities and the rcc work you have to mention here like form work reinforcing steel work embedded items concrete placement preparation for concrete concreting and joints for us for what is the purpose of this document purpose of this document is to ensure the standard and specification of metro link uh, terminal terminal 2 trip preparation terminal terminal 2 and the technical development company for contracting is effectively implemented during the process of rcc work so what is the purpose, pro- purpose of this method statement you have to give a short note here how you will do the communication so here you have to briefly describe the communication the content of this method statement shall be explained and demonstrated to all involved personnel based on specific talk location site engineer supervisor subcontractor signature shall be taken and approved method statement as per matter of record when you uh, prepare a method statement and it's approved then you have to explain it to all the people at site like site engineer supervisor and subcontractor and you have to take their side that they have to do this activity as per this method statement control measure formation consent logistic rams pre work briefing work supervisor how all the this is a control measure how you will describe the all you have to describe all these things to the people at site how you will do control the logistic pre work briefing to ensure the ram risk assessment measurement and work supervisor will ensure the restricted zones no authorized persons to access these are the general things okay from anywhere you can get all these items and it's used on all method statement like first aid fire environment and mobile crane here if you are going to use the mobile crane for the activities you have to mention if not so you don't have to mention project access access and regress from your your uh, access to your project and from your you are going out from your the project you have here you have to put it here in this section and also it will be possible if you put them google map location for your projects now construction methodology this is the most important part this is the different for all the p- projects and for all the activities comes like ensure all the the related documents such as shop drawing material approval method statement and test certificates must be available upon request ensure the supply of ready mix concrete and grade of concrete are approved by the client ensure the ready mix concrete plan is approved by client and consultant before proceeding the mixing and batching so, so you can here you can see it's all about the activity and everything should be approved before the starting work key material which type of material will be used like composition of con- concrete shall comply with specification and approved mix design sci 211.1 and sci 301 here you have to put all the data in the with a statement from where you will get this data this data will be get from the specification this data will be get from the approved mix design and this you will get the data maybe from the also from the shop drawings 
so here in this area you have to put all the details about the material which will be used in the activity and the slum fields all the things form work form work shall be designed and constructed according to the applicable course with the specified tolerance to the shape lines and dimension required by the ifc drawings how you will complete the form work how you will install the form work you have to install all the form work as per approved shop drawing and codes and specification because all the data is present in the project specification about form work concrete placement everything so you will get these data from the specification so here you can see like chamfer strip foot and mat pvc or rubber strips 20 by 20 mm unless otherwise indicated shall be used like if you are going to uh, use the chamfer strip water or metal it should be 20 by 20 mm and, and you will get this data from the uh, specification level guides shall be installed for the level of maintenance concrete all this data you will get from the specification if i going to explain one by one step so it will take too much time the next thing will be you have to give detail about re reinforcing reinforcing steel work sitting out shall be marked by the survey before you are going to start steel work you have the to ask the survey to give you the coordinates for the steel position location fabricated steel shall be placed and positioned as per approved shop drawing you have to uh, fabricate all install all the steel as per approved shop drawing approved 1.6 mm diagonalized steel which we call it binding wire will be used spacer blocks will be approved from the consultant it will be used Concrete cover to, uh, to reinforce shall be as indicated on drawing. Concrete cover shall be not less than values indicated in SCI 301 table 3.3.2.3. .3. So these all the data you will get from the specification. All this code, everything is present in the data. Uh, this data is present in the specification. So you have to check the specification, study it, and you have to study your drawings, and you have to put this data and the metal statement all this detail about the and before like steel around MEP openings or sleeves shall be provided as per IFC drawings all the work should be executed by IFC IFC drawing mean issue for construction embedded item what is the meaning of an embedded item like anchor boards pipe sleeves conduits for electrical work ran curves or trenches angles trench angle and other inserts are shown on the drawing shall be placed when you are executing any activity, you have to take MEP clearance before completing or closing the form works or casting the concrete. So all the embedded items from the MEP side should be cleared. Joints. If there is any joints like construction joints or uh, expansion joints, so you have to check all the construction joints, expansion joints as per approved shop drawing. With So before executing or placing the concrete, you have to check all the joints. If it's as per approved shop drawing, then you will go ahead for to cause the concrete. For the joints, you will get these details from your shop drawings. Preparation for concrete. How you will do a preparation? Areas to be placed with the concrete shall be maintained clean, condition free from trash, debris, sand, and other foreign metals. It means you have to clean all the area. You have to do all the inspection for palm work, for the steel, and e everything will be approved from the consultant. So it is part of preparation for concreting then you can go ahead for the concrete and you will get this data also from the specification and also you have to use some common steps concrete placement how you will do the concrete placement you have to follow the quality plan project specification and your method statement and this data will be you will get from also from the project specification because i prepare all these uh, method statement from project specification so here upon arrival transit max truck at site delivery note will be checked for the actual detail like time batching quantity mix approved mix design variation in waiting material water cement ration slum check regularly at the site satisfaction for the engineer all the th things what you will do at site during concrete replacement you have to put it here like check the delivery note slum test concrete temperature how you will do take the slanders and what how you will cost it what will be the uh, um, maximum height to place the concrete how you will use the vibrator all these things you have to put it in the method statement and the part of the placement of concrete when you complete the placement of company concrete it's come to the curing so how you will do the curing you cannot do it from your side you also have to follow the project specification these are the things like 
see seven days minimum seven days are as per approved curing compound uh, seven days you have to put the potable water or you will use curing compound as per approved uh, manufacturer recommendation potable water will be used if you are not using the chemical cleaning and hand handing over before handing over you have to clean all the area and you have to do the inspection for this housekeeping safety engineer will ensure the safety aspects of housekeeping you have to check everything for the housekeeping and the save you have to bring the safety to check the site for housekeeping this is organization chart like which type of manpower will be used project manager construction manager site engineer work supervisor safety officer operator skill labor steel picture and these people will be used for this activity you have to responsibilities now every person has their own responsibility and these are the common responsibilities and common for all method statement when you get these responsibilities you will use it or any method statement kvkoc department responsibility supervisor operator and rigors labor skilled labor lighting equip which type of equipment will be used you have to uh, briefly discuss it here like here tool and equipment like transit mixer slump core air meter tamping rod thermometer concrete cylinder hammer line dory all the equipments and material uh, equipments and tools you, you will use for the activity you have to mention it here site induction before starting the activity you have to do the site induction pre-task briefing you have to do toolbox talk about your activity and safety you have to do hazard material substances you have to discuss all these things this is the method statement which you see and here the ksa regulation you also what are the KSA regulation and laws you have to also mention this in the method statement storage and handling how you will store the material and how you will handle it to the side here you have to briefly discuss it HSC risk and control measures so this is well, this part is uh, related to self, self uh, safety and health you can see it so here you have to write like uh, the first phase of method statement acceptable yes or no are there any pwh clearance request trigger if yes obtain if no then no need this part you have to discuss with the safety engineer or safety manager and after that you have to put it here so guys this was the methods and here in the last you will get the risk assessment from the safety engineer and you have to attach to the your uh method statement so guys this was the method statement i tried my best to give a brief uh, details about the method statement but it's not possible to discuss one by one detail because it will take too much time so maybe you will get some uh, idea about how to prepare method statement if you have any question regarding to method statement you can ask in the comment box so if you are a new uh, sub uh, uh, viewer please subscribe our youtube channel press the bell icon for the new videos and keep watching our youtube channel thank you so much